back to the channel today we're going to give out some tips on what is going to be an absolutely bullying day of worse and we've got Shishkin versus Energa I mean the mid-season smash up between two horses who are at above 170 it's going to be one epic course and I certainly cannot wait to watch it for me I'm in the Shishkin camp but no one really knows who's better to be honest I mean Energa I mean does have to prove it against probably the biggest test that he's first but for Shishkin as well he Although he has beaten horses like Guanatine, he also does have that question mark of beating a top, top class horse. So both have a lot to prove, but it's going to be a brilliant horse. And for me, I'm in the Shishkin camp all day long. Moving on to today's tips, we're going to start off in a 12.35 at Ascot, where I like Twilight Twist. Currently around 2 for 1 for Alan King and Tom Bellamy. This is a fall in a race, and their favourite is Irish Hill for Harry Cobden and Paul Nichols, who won on his debut and he was probably quite lucky to win that. Glaston fell at the last when looking like he was going to win and the race kind of just fell into Irish Hill's hands that day so I think he might be a bit short in the betting at around 6-4 to four in the minute considering he got handed the win and he does now have a penalty as does Twilight Twist who's had three runs over hurdles the most out of any horse in the race. He started off with a first then a very good second and fourth up in class. The latest fourth was in a triumph hurdle at uh, triumph hurdle trial at Cheltenham, and that was a very good performance. I think the form of that race will work out very nicely in time, considering the second and the third have both won quite imp impressively since he was fourth that day, just a few lengths behind third. And I think, considering he got shuffled back coming into the home straight, I think. That didn't suit him and he probably ran on quite steadily and nicely in the end to finish fourth. I think that was a good performance and he might not get that strong pace today but I'm hoping he might be a little bit closer to the pace and that will suit this horse and I think he's a decent bet at 2-1 to one to kick off a splendid card at Ascot. Moving over to the 145 also at Ascot. That is a very competitive card as well, and I actually like Unexpected Party. Second favourite currently at around 7-2 to two in the betting. Now, he's had three runs in handicaps. His first one was an absolute smash-up off 109. He got chucked up £11 to 120, and he was beaten behind Gowell Road at Cheltenham. That form's been boosted. Gowell Road ran massive in the Sovereign Hurdle at Linkfield the other day, I think it was. He finished second in that. That was a very nice performance indeed. And then subsequently, Unexpected Party was beaten again into second at Weatherby at 8-13 to of 124 now. Harry Skelton, who rode him that day, was very vocal about how he definitely should have won. He committed way too soon on very soft ground and he just missed the last flight and he kind of chucked the, the race away. He was being put up £6 for that, which often is a concern when you don't win and you get put up a massive amount, like £6. But I think off 130 today is definitely well handicapped. He's dropped from 2 miles 5 to 2 miles 3, which might just help slightly. He travels strongly anyway, so the dropping trip wouldn't be a concern. But I think he didn't fully see it out at Weatherby that day. I'm not sure if that was the distance was too far or he was idling in front. So I think Harry Skelton... I'll give him a nice patient ride, not get to the front too soon. He travels strongly, so hopefully unexpected party will take Cali Skelton right to the front. And if he just gets to the last and goes after that, I can see him winning at 7-2. to two. The favourite in this race is also has very good form. That was third, and Metier was behind him in fourth, who subsequently won very nicely as well the other day. So it's a very strong race, but I'm sticking with unexpected party off a nice work at around 7-2 in the betting. Now moving over to the 3.53 at Taunton, I actually like a long shot in this, it's called Miss M. It's a very competitive 17 on a race, so I'm taking a gamble on this at around 20-1 to one in the betting. Now this horse has only won twice over hurdles and it was actually his first two races. After that, it got given a handicap mark of 121. And after that, I think that was a bit too high. It just lost its way through the summer months of race and it was down to 124th, it had a wind up, came back in November off a mark of 104 and its first two runs were slightly disappointing too but its last two starts have really caught my eye, I think it, this could be the turning point for the horse, it was 5th over 2 miles 4 furlongs on soft ground 
and on its second to last done and last time it was sixth over two miles on soft ground again going back to his start two runs ago I think it travelled very nicely into that race and probably might have been a bit too far for him or the test was a bit too much on that soft ground over two miles four on soft ground he got tired late on after looking at a massive player with two hurdles to go and I think this slight drop back in trip and a bit better ground that is going to first study will suit him and after that second run he's only had two runs and he's been dropped eight pounds he's off a clear low mark of 88 today with the riders claim taken off a couple of pounds as well so I think he's got a nice racing weight around 11 stone I think it is and he's down to a clear low mark and I think this really could be the turning point for the horse so I'm having a bet on him at 20 to 1 to run huge in the 3.53 at Taunton. So going through my selections one more time, Twilight Twist at 2 to 1 in the 12.35, 1.45 I'm going with Unexpected Party which is currently 7 to 2 and in the 3.53 Miss M at 20 to 1. So they're my selections, let me know your nap in the comments down below of a very excited day of worse and I simply cannot wait to see Shishkin hopefully hose up in the Clarence house.